Howdy there, and welcome to Evan's Kitchen, the place where I, I do a lot of cooking. I cook all the time in this house now, okay? That's my new thing. Okay, that's why they call me uh, Oven Edinger. That's, that's my name. Evan, you're not even using the oven. You're making... I will be using the oven for this a little <laughs> bit, okay? Burritos. Don't be such a hobnob. <laughs> right, so, as you know, if you've been following me on Instagram, I have been cooking a lot more, and I've been definitely getting better. But today, I've been challenged by Heinz Creations to try and make my dish a bit more Interesting, okay, so I've been making these burritos for a bit. I'm actually pretty good at burritos instead of using standard normal black beans We're going with the Spanish beans from the Heinz creations This will hopefully give my dish a bit more life a bit more flavor and also by the way This is literally one of the easiest dishes that you can make. Let's get into it So first off we are using the oven you don't really need to do this necessarily, but I like hot and toasty tortillas So for these burritos, all right We're going to get some aluminum foil <laughs> All right, uh, maybe you maybe, maybe use the cutter, cover them in aluminum foil, and then what we're gonna do is to keep them nice and warm, woo, stay on buddy, put it in the oven. Boom. I'm gonna set my timer, set timer for 15 minutes. I know okay. it's a bit extra, but hey, it works. So while that's heating up, getting real nice, it's now time to go over the ingredients. First off, we're going to need, of course, our Heinz Creations, the Spanish uh... beans. We're going to need two of these sachets, because that's the amount I want to make. We're going to need two tablespoons of coriander, or if you're from the U.S. Arugula. No, that's rocket, actually. Oh. Rocket's arugula. So this is called cilantro in the oh. U.S. I don't know why it's called coriander here, but I get so confused when trying to cook dishes. Anyway. I've picked two fresh peppers from my garden. These are the last ones on the way out. Yes, that's our lovely garden. So this is a fresh jalapeno and this is a Hungarian hot wax. You don't really need much of this, but I like a little bit of extra spice, so we're gonna have those. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we need one sliced onion, a bell pepper sliced up as well, a secret ingredient, some soft cream cheese, some minced meat to add some extra bits, and, I mean, that's it besides the, the burrito filling. Let's just get cooking. Oh, is he here already? Also, today we have a special guest chef hey. to enjoy the treats! Hey. Hi. Hi. It's renowned Hi. actor Hi. and chef Hi. Daniel J. Lake. Hi. So, uh, we have now a chef that's gonna be watching over me, so a bit, bit more stress. But like I said, this is an easy dish. Anyone can make. So first off, the garlic that I never mentioned, it's a hidden ingredient. <laughs> What you want to do is crush it a little bit to make sure you can get the skin off. A special tip, just to make cooking easier, I like to have a little bowl just to put my waste in. That way I don't have to constantly go to the trash can. So... It's there. It saves me time. I'm now going to just quickly mince up the garlic. Oh, very nice. Also, you might notice that we have a uh, 10,000 degree knife. Definitely one from the YouTube memes back in the day. We've nicely chopped up our garlic. I'm now going to need to chop up the onion. I hope you find this dish appealing. There we go, we've done the pot. Wow, look at you chopping. You're Thank so you. good at chopping. Thank you. Wow. It's the knife, it's all in the ceramic knife. It's not ceramic. Make sure you get all the skin out. <laughs> this dish can be so fun and easy that you might cry up thinking about how tasty it's going to be. Are you going seeds in? Oh, we're going seeds in. If you're not brave, that's fine. All you have to do is remove the seeds. Seeds are the hottest part of the grape. And I look like I'm crying, and that's because I'm just so happy for this dish. It doesn't really matter what we're doing with these. We're putting these all in at the same time. The last thing to cut is the bell pepper. There's actual tears on my glasses. <laughs> Before we cut this bell pepper really quickly, I'm going to put some vegetable oil in the pan. Nice. There we go. We're going to heat this up really quick on a medium heat so that by the time I'm done this, the pan will be nice and hot. Also, in the meantime, you don't have to use minced meat if you don't like, but I like uh, adding a bit of meat. And we're going to just, there we go. Last step, and then it's all really fast from here. Basically, it's all about the prep for this dish. We're gonna get rid of the whoop, top of the pepper, and I actually do de-seed the bell those, pepper. Those are just seeds. Those do nothing. Exactly. That's not a tip. We're making sure the pepper is well cut. Sounds like we're ready to go over there. Perfect timing. We're now going to unload the entirety whoop, yeah. right into our vegetable oil. And we're gonna let that cook for a good three minutes. You kind of know when it's actually done being cooked because you'll see the, the onions start to get a bit translucent. You'll see the, uh, the garlic start to brown. Make sure you're mixing him up. You could say you're mincing it. I always say that you are. I'm not gonna mince words. Right, yeah. There it is. So, Dan, so far, what do you think? Does this dish seem alright so far? Nothing that you've done has been wrong. 
All right, well, we're about to get really exciting in the next two minutes when the secret ingredients go in that aren't that secret. secret. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, this is okay. fun. Right. Let's chop up a little bit of coriander. Coriander is just a nice flavor. Supposedly oh. half of people in the world don't like coriander. They just don't have the genetics, the taste buds for it. I hate so it. So I did, I'm gonna get I really I like, it. I like coriander. I, I quite like it, cilantro. Uh, but if you're not the type of person that does, just cut it out of the dish and you'll be fine. It makes it easier as well. Like I said, if I can cook this, Anyone could cook this, okay? You've seen me cook. You've seen me cook. This is kind of what you want it to look like. You can see that everything is getting really light and translucent, the word of the day. So next up, here's where we throw in the Spanish beans, the creations. Yes! Boom. Ooh, look at those guys. So these are going to give a lot of extra flavor to our dish. The mixture should make such a nice homogeneous mixture in the burrito. You want the beans to basically integrate the flavor that they've just brought to the dish with everything else that's currently been cooking, such as the garlic, the peppers. You, you don't want it to just be, you know, peppers with beans. You want one mixture. So we're gonna let that cook. What? Yeah. Yeah, they look nice. After the beans have been cooking for a nice two minutes, you add soft cheese to the mixture. What this is going to do is create a like stringy, cheesy texture and really nice creamy feeling to the entire burrito. So we'll let that cook for a little bit more. And as you can see from our lovely cheese, the heat is beginning to get to it. It's beginning to completely oh. mix in there so that every bite has a nice creamy texture. The beans, the cheese. The peppers. The cheese will also soften some of that heat. Yeah. yeah. Now you get this nice orangey color. Ooh, this is looking so good. I'm honestly really hungry right now. Our meat is very nearly finished. It just needs to be completely, completely brown. We do not want any red. Our cheesy, beanie, peppery mixture is now looking so perfect. But not yet, because now we're going to add in that cilantro. A little bit of coriander. Two tablespoons should be good, but this is really going to just punch up that flavor, making sure that the leaves wilt within and bring with it the flavor of its family. I'm going to throw the meat right in there. And at this point, all we gotta do is make sure we're coating that meat in our beanie, peppery mixture. You don't want it to just, like I said, be meat with stuff. You want it to all be one homogeneous filling of your delicious burrito. Look how creamy that is. It is looking so What's nice. that? It's an alarm. It looks like our burrito tortillas are finished. 15 minutes. It's only taken 15 minutes to cook this dish. Ooh. Crispy. Here we go. I don't know why I'm making whoop sounds. Whoop. So you can whoop. take as much as you want, but know that the more you put in, the harder it's going to be to close, to close it. It's like that famous Bo Burnham song, you know? And now we're going to decorate the burrito. So come to the decorating station. How much do you like inside, Dan? A little, little sprinkle of tomatoes here. A decent amount. That's, that's nice. That's and then nice. cheese me the F up. All right. And then we like to have a nice amount of cheese. And this is our finished burrito, except we need to roll it. So. You limbered up. Oh, gosh. I think I burnt the tortillas. You did a little bit, but I didn't want to say on Ah! Uh, and if it turns out that maybe you left the tortillas in the oven for too long and they got a little bit crispy, <laughs> then guess what? You could just put some in the microwave for like 20 seconds. It does the same thing, but nice and warm, not burnt. We're gonna fold like this, do one of these, and just keep pushing, and just keep pushing, and push at the bottom, and then burn. We did it. Burn? Burn. 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 You did it. Ta-da! You. you just gotta just hold it together. Hold it together. Now we have the moment of truth where Dan tells us what he thinks mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is it too hot? No. Hold it's actually the right amount of hot. I think that adding the cheese is a genius, genius step. Oh, the cream cheese, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. But more importantly, the beans. Oh yeah, that's the best bit. Best bit. Mm, I'll have this whole thing. Oh yes, it's all for you. Look at this little burrito party going on. All right, little burrito party. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you hear that? I, was that your jewel? That was my jaw. Honestly, <laughs> that's the best burrito I've ever made. Yeah. You've done very well here. The mixture of flavors did really okay. Uh -huh. I'm very happy with this. Also, 15 minutes! Okay, so like there's a little bit of chorizo flavor, like the paprika flavor. Yeah, that's if you like cheese. dishes like this, like I said, Mex, I can do it. So can you. There was my pun of the day. Hey, thank you guys very much for checking it out. If you want to check our guest chef out of the day, Daniel Jalayton, please be sure to check his link. I'm making a rice dish. He's making a rice dish? Oh, Are you cool. doing the same brand? Uh huh. Amazing! So, if you want to see what Dan's got up to with the, the new Heinz beans, check out his channel. I'll give you a link below. I'd call it paella, but I'd be in big trouble with the Spaniards. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. I will see you guys next week for another cool video. Is there more? Goodbye! I hope you can have as much as you want. Let's there make is more. a lot. <laughs> <laughs>
let's chow down. See you later. Bye.